all right before we get started subscribe to my channel I'm gonna show you the correct way to change a battery eventually you're gonna have to do this once in your life it's very simple to do but you must do it the correct way the first thing what you want to do is take the negative off first because your negative is grounded to the frame so if you're trying to take your positive off and you touch the frame with this tool right here it's gonna spark and it might short out your computers or anything in your vehicle especially these uh, new vehicles so first what you want to do is take off the negative always take it off first Like I said, make sure you take your negative off first. Next, you want to take your positive. Like I said, you want to take your negative off first, positive off second. And once you do that, take your battery off and put your new battery back on. And this is a 12 volt battery. So if you touch the negative and the positive with your hand, it won't do anything. 12 volts ain't gonna hurt you. But let me show you something here. I'm gonna put my jumper cables on, my negative, and my positive. And you see me touch it with my hand. You see me touch it with my hand. And you don't wanna do this when this battery is connected. I'm gonna just show you what happened when you put negative and positive together when you touch your metal together. You see that spark? But when you touch it with your hand, no problem. But metal to metal, you're gonna get a spark. Okay, now when you're putting a new battery back on, the first thing you want to do is put your positive on first. Your positive on first. And you tighten it up. Then you put your negative on last. that's all to it so again when you get ready to change the battery you take the negative off first positive off second and when you're putting the battery back on you put the positive on first negative second and the reason why right now if you want to take the say for instance I take the positive off first what happened while I'm taking this off what if I accidentally hit this right here with this tool? Or maybe I hit any part of my truck that is grounded because my negative's still on, I'm gonna get a spark. That's why you always take your negative off first, positive second, and when you're putting it back on, positive first, negative second. That's it. Make sure you follow those rules because if you don't and you try to take this off, first and you arc something out it probably mess up your computer and now you got a bigger problem it's gonna cost you probably fifteen hundred two thousand dollars to replace a computer chip or something like that you may blow a fuse but that's all to it so if this video helped subscribe to my channel and thank you and have a great day